and welcome back to another video what's up y'all as always thanks for tuning in to one of my new videos and supporting me and um today we got my baby again doing a rack and pin in it i just put a rack in it about a month ago but i don't know what happened something's wrong with the right side i guess it's rebuilt and they didn't build it right so it's binding up every time i turn to the right so yeah we got to replace that again sadly but we gotta do it. I've seen a lot of you guys been wanting me to do more stuff on Impalas. That one Impala video that I just did with the power steering got a pretty good amount of views within a short period of time. So, we're gonna go to my Impala. So, the first thing I did, obviously, is take the wheels off. We gotta take the wheels off first. Oh. We gotta take the wheels off first, both sides, and then we're gonna take the tie rods out. One tie rod over here. One tie rod over here. Then the next thing we're gonna have to do is go here and take out our two 18 millimeter screws. There's one here and there's one there. And there's a nut on the back. So you're gonna need two wrenches to take that off. Next, what I did was take out my two lines. There's one right there and the other one's up, the other one's up there. Take out those two lines. One was 18, one's a 19, but I believe if you've never changed, because I changed, I changed my power steering lines before. So they're supposed to be 16 and 18, but mine's 18 and 19 because I got an aftermarket line. So in my case, 18 and 19 to take those two out. And the best way to do it is take the one that's closest to you out down here and then let the car down to go to the front through the hood and take out the second one because it's harder to get to down here. So, and then next we got to take out our steering rack, which should be, uh, it should be an 11 millimeter most cars are. Huh. Oh, it's right here. What? It might be on that side, yeah. So yeah, that's an 11. Most cars are 11, so make sure that you get your 11. And a long, long extension for the gun. And yeah, that's pretty much the simplest way to do this. And to get mine out, I took down my, my back two subframe screws. I took those two down, one and two. You don't have to take it all the way down, just enough so you can slide it out easier because the head of it's kind of big, so, you know, it's not that easy to come out that way. So you might have to, you might have to make a little bit more room, but that's pretty much it. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and put the new one on. I guess you can just watch me put the new one on since I already explained how to take it out. All right, guys. So I don't know how your how yours might come, but with mine, these don't come in here. Is there two bushings that you gotta make sure that you put them in before you put this back? I just forgot to do that. So make sure that you guys don't make that mistake. There should be two bushings that go in here. Can you focus, please, camera? Can you please focus? Yeah. Two bushings that go in here. One on each side. One and two. So make sure that you guys put those in before trying to install it, or you will be sad. Boom. All right, so I got it in place now. All I gotta do now is put my screws in and get it all tightened down. But as you can see, that was a pain in the ass. Well, maybe you can't because I might do a time lapse. Hold on guys, I'm gonna stop for a good eating break. I just got some food and I'm very stoked about it, so. That is pretty much it. All right, so everything's in, everything's tight. The last thing I have to do is put these tie rods back on, but I gotta take those off because those two are brand new. I just put those on about three to four weeks ago when I did this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, but I guess I'll end the video here. The rack's in, brand new rack. 
Look how stiff that tie rod is. I can barely even move it. It takes me a lot more muscle than that one. Got my two. Right, tighten down, tighten down. My two lines are tight. My steering, steering wheel is tight. Everything's pretty much tight. So, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end it right there, guys. Thank you all for watching as usual. That's how you do a rack and pin on an 04 Chevy Impala. For my ones who've been wanting to see more Impala stuff. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching again, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.